Hallo und herzlich willkommen zur neuesten Ausgabe des Meier Podcast. Wir sind heute in Heidelberg und neben mir sitzt ein Mann, der ein begnadeter Beatboxer ist, The Half Shaved Beardy Man. Beardy Man, thank you for the interview. Ich würde gerne mit euch reden. Warum bist du nicht? Ich würde gerne mit euch reden, wie wir uns gerne reden. Ich würde gerne mit euch reden, wie wir uns gerne reden. Ich würde gerne mit Sounds like a serious problem. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the introducing. <laughs> All right. So uh, you, you're touring through Germany regarding your new long player called I Done an Album. Interesting wise, your beats on the album ranges from hip hop to down tempo to dubstep to drum bass. So what was the um, idea of the long player to have this full range of beats? Uh, well, I wanted to make something which was good. And um, there was no real, there was no real grand plan. I just thought I'll do, a, I'll do an album. I mean, really, I could have taken it a lot more out there. I could have done many more genres than I did, and you know, like you know, I could have done like an ambient track. Mm. Uh, I could have really themed the whole thing and made it a, a bit of a concept album. I could have done, um, could have done guitar songs and piano songs, and you know, I've been writing songs for years, but I didn't because I thought that would be a bit too much of a departure from what I've been doing. So, in actual fact, it kind of. For me, the album doesn't actually sound eclectic at all. It sounds quite focused in terms of, I mean, it's you know, it's, there's a lot of kind of silliness and pastiches on there, but it's mainly kind of focused on sort of two-step mm -hmm. dance music <clears throat> and, and and smatterings of hip hop and stuff like that. So dance music at all? Dance music at heart, I suppose. It all, like, yeah, drum bass, dubstep, so, yeah, down tempo stuff, and um, it's just like ele electronic, I suppose, mainly electronic. <laughs> You transport a lot of humor in your performing. So where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as beatboxing humorist or as beatboxer who's doing humor? Well, this is going to sound really wanky, but I think I see myself just as a performer, as a not necessarily as a beatboxer or a comedian or a musician. I suppose I'm a musician, aren't I? But I mean, a performer. I mean, it's, I do stuff. There's all different kinds of balances of comedy and music. Um, but I don't see myself as a musical comedian at all. Okay. I, I don't know. Some people might think different depending on what they've seen of me or depending on how far they're willing to think about it. Okay. But obviously, I'm <laughs> bound to think about it more than most people, but there you go. All right, cool, cool. I have to just to uh, clear out one more rumor. So, are you really the stepfather of Justin Bieber? I'm the father of Justin Bieber. Oh, the father? Yeah. All right, so then I did it wrong. Basically, I fucked this tramp, right? And this, this this girl was literally homeless, and um, I had sex with her out of pity, um, and um, basically she gave birth to this this creature. Right. It was hideously deformed, and it sold its soul to the devil in return for boyish good looks. But on the inside, it's curdling, and it just wants death and destruction for the universe. You know, fear leads to anger and anger leads to hate and hate leads to suffering and I mm. sense much fear in him. At the end of the day, we all need love. Exactly. Except for Justin Bieber, who should die. <laughs> he should die, right? He should die. <laughs> all right, so then, Darren, thanks for the interview. Thank you very much. We are pretty much done with it. And um, I would say, bis zum nächsten Mal. Bis dahin. Tschüssing. <laughs>